Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I figured I had just enough time before I go away for New Year uh, to do one more quick video for you just so you've got something for this weekend. Um, and what I figured I'd do is just a really short unboxing of my Mora Eldris. Um, now I've very, very briefly taken this out just to have a quick look at it, uh, but I haven't taken out the fire steel side of it, so we'll do that on camera as well. Um, here is the box. I went with the green one because um, I figured it was fairly bushcrafty and it's a nice bright green as well, which means if I drop it, I should be able to find it again. Um, now what I'll do before I get to the unboxing, I'll give you a couple of bits off the back of the packet. Um, so it's stainless steel, uh, it's 2.3 inches or 59 millimeters long for the blade. Um, it's 5.6 inches or 143 millimeters overall. Um, it's two mil thick. Um, it's 2.8 ounces or 80 grams. Um, it says it's pocket size, it says use with a fire steel. Um, now I've always been a little bit dubious about stainless steel and fire steels. I tend to find a carbon steel knife works better. Um, but you know, that's how this is being marketed, so I'm sure it will work fine. Um, and what we've got down the bottom here, um, Da, 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 da. Take your Mora, Mora knife Eldris to the next level with this flexible neck knife kit. Hang it round your neck on your next adventure with multi-purpose paracord. Make it even more secured while carried closely to your body and start a warming fire or, or a camping stove with the minimalist fire starter. Okay, very nice. Um, and what I'll do, I think I'll move the camera around a little bit um, and we'll get this box opened. Right then guys, so there we are, I've got you in front of the computer so you've got a bit more light. Um, here is our box, and I think first and foremost we'll just get the knife out. I'm sure that's what really what everyone's here to see. Um, and this is it, this is my new Mora Eldris. Um, now it's a nice little package, you know, it, it almost looks kind of toy-like in here. Um, you know, it's a standard sort of material that Mora use for their sheath, but it's in, it's in a, a very kind of bright colour. Um, I'll give you a bit of a close-up there, so you've got the Mora symbol, 1891, uh, and the Mora Niv logo. Um, and what I'll do, if I just take this knife out, bear with me, I'm going to do that off-camera. And here we have the knife. Um, now straight away you can see that the grind on this, although it is a Scandinavian grind, it is slightly different to the, the regular Mora, things like the clippers and the robusts. Um, and I think that, that's been done deliberately to give you a bit more of a profile to work with. You know, this, this little point here I think will probably be very good for skinning um, and then general carving all the way along. Um, and you know, this is not designed as a heavy duty knife. This is meant to be doing small camp tasks, detail items, pretty much everything you'd expect for a um, for a neck knife really um, you know more of a utility knife than anything else but you know the handle is very nice it's got a little bit of a plasticky feel to it but no more so than any of the other Mora knives um, you know you've, you've still got a little indentation up here for your thumb and and sort of like a little plastic chawl down the bottom here so you can get a good grip on it and it does feel as I say plasticky but also slightly rubberized um, I mean it's not rubber you can hear my or hopefully you can hear my um, my thumbnail scraping along this. So you've got a slightly more rubberized texture on the outside, slightly more plasticky feeling where you've got the checkering on here, but it does feel really, really nice and comfortable kind of in my hand. Um, you know, the blade itself, as I say, I'll give you a bit of a close up if I can find where my camera's looking. Um, and you know, this is a nice blade. Um, you know, it's quite thin, it's only 2 mil thick, I think the standard Mora is 3, um, if memory serves. But again, really, really nice little knife. Um, so that is the knife itself, and what I haven't done yet is opened up this little bottom piece here, which I'm going to do now, and I may as well use the knife for this. And to be fair, that's just slicing through it like butter, it's almost as if it's not even there. Um, so let me just pop that back into the sheath and we'll see what we get inside this little fire starter neck knife kit. Um, now this kit is approximately £20. The, the knife itself is between £30 and £35 to buy by itself. Um, the whole kit as a bundle cost me £50. Um, so, you know, is this worth an extra kind of 20 odd quid? Um, I don't know, I think time will tell to be honest. Um, but we've got 
nice little fire steel here. It's not particularly big and I wasn't expecting it to be. It's got a nice bit of paracord on here. It's got a little plastic um, toggle on the top um, and a little leather tab here with the more and uh, logo on it as well. Um, so, you know, it's cheap and cheerful, but you know, it's been quite well made. It's quite well put together from first appearances. Um, and then you've got a little piece of standard, uh, what I assume is 550 paracord. Um, certainly feels and looks like it. Um, and also a little leather sheath thingy as well. Um, now I'm assuming that the knife slot, oh, in fact it doesn't, there's a nice little click in there as well. Um, so that will slot on here and I'm guessing the strap goes over the top. So you can actually lock that completely in. Um, and actually I quite like that. I mean, you could very easily pop that off, slip it through a belt, put it back on, um, which is maybe how I'll carry it. I'm not a huge fan of neck knives in all honesty. Um, I like having things on my belt, um, but I don't know, maybe I'll give this a try. Um, and I assume, I mean, without looking at instructions of which there aren't, oh, in fact, no, I tell a lie. There we go. Um, so essentially what, what you're doing is taking, sorry, you can't really see that, can you? What you're doing is sort of threading your paracord through the bottom there. Um, and your fire steel loops onto that as well. So it sits around your neck. Um, yeah, I mean, I quite like that. Um, so yeah, all in all, I mean, let's see if I can do this on camera now. Uh, let's have a look. Ooh, can I undo this? Just about. Right. So if we're looking at threading our paracord through here, let's put it through this way, which you can't actually see me doing because I'm not even showing you it towards the camera. Um, uh, where are we? Yeah, this is going to be a tricky little bugger, isn't it? Uh, right. If I don't manage this in the next sort of 30 seconds or so, I think what I'll probably do is do this off camera, which I think I'm going to have to. It's not quite a straight run in there. It needs a little bit of a bend to it. So what I'll do, let me just do this off camera very, very quickly and I'll come back. Right then guys, so I've just done a couple of very simple knots on this paracord, which I'll show you now. Um, I've got a little overhand knot here down the bottom using both pieces of this string. Um, that means that it will stop her up against here and it won't slide around on the string. Um, I've also put a couple of overhand knots up here. Really simple, really basic and dirty. I'll, I'll probably tidy these up later. Um, but what it means is that I can take hold of either of these knots once it's around my neck, um, in fact, you know what, let me try and do that here. So I can put it around here, grab hold of these two knots and pull them towards each other to either tighten or alternatively loosen this piece of paracord. So I'll show you that a bit closer up. Let me put my jumper in the way so you can see it a bit better. Um, so basically you take these two and as you pull them apart, the, uh, the two bits of the paracord spread through so you end up with sort of a double loop and you can pull that as far as you like um, and make this a nice small loop or you can pull them back together and make a bigger loop. So if you are worried about it maybe coming off because um, you're kind of doing a lot of active work or something, you can put it on, tighten it up a little bit. Um, and one of the things I've also just noticed off camera um, is that with this little uh, leather sort of strap, and I actually really like this, I didn't know that was going to be in the box. Um, and what I've done is as you unpop it, if you let go, the material is such a sort of soft and supple leather that it just automatically falls down. Um, now I've got some pouches and some other bits and pieces, leather pouches and, and, and things with leather straps that quite often you unpop of them and they kind of stop about here and they sort of get in your way trying to take a knife or a tin or whatever it is out. But this is actually really nicely done in that it sort of lets gravity do the work, it falls out the way you could pull your knife out, do what you need to do. Um, the other thing I was going to quickly show you, and I'm going to have to try and do this over this um, little work table here because I've got a carpet on the floor here. Um, I did give the fire steel a quick scrape. Um, where are we? And it's throwing sparks really nicely. Um, I had no 
no real reason to be concerned about the stainless. Um, it's got a nice sharp 90 degree spine on there. Um, so this is this all to you know in, in reality just looks really really nice so far. I need to put it through its paces obviously and I'm gonna be using it um, I'm not sure. Um, I've got a few videos lined up that won't need this kind of knife. I've um, got a few little projects in mind, but as and when I need a knife like this, um, I'll be using it. I'll be using it a lot off camera over the next few weeks anyway. Um, but basically, you know, this, some, for, you know, from first impressions, and you know, this is just an unboxing video, this seems like a really nice knife. I mean, if I just slot it inside my jumper which you know where it's designed to be really you know can't really feel it i can move around you know stand up you know i can sort of just about feel it and i think you know you hopefully you can see that here you know there is a bit of a bulge underneath which you know, as you would expect with a knife like this um, but it's certainly not uncomfortable um you know the paracord you know, paracord is paracord. It's like wearing a, a, a necklace made out of uh, sort of thin string. So, you know, all in all, I'm quite pleased with it. Haven't decided if I want to put this fire steel attached to this or not. Um, I mean, part of me says, yes, it's a really good idea. So you've got everything together. And I do like having my knife and my fire steel in the same place. Um, but, you know, if I put this on here, this is going to be sort of flapping around a little bit. So I'm not sure. I, I need to have a bit more of a think about it, a bit of a play around with it. Um, but that was really it, guys. So just a very brief introduction to the Mora Eldris. I know there's been loads of people that have put reviews up this sort of, you know, very recently, shortly after they came out. Um, as I say, I held off on buying one deliberately, A, because of the price, um, and looking at this now, seeing it in the flesh, I think it's pretty warranted. You know, it does seem like a much better made version of some of the standard Mora's. Um, and you know, Mora have been bringing out new new knives sort of quite steadily for the last year or so, and some of them quite expensive. Um, but I think as a as a sort of camp knife, utility knife, neck knife, this seems really good. Um, I'll certainly be using it um, you know, in and around my workshop and when I'm out and about. Um, and as soon as I get a video where I something that calls for a smaller knife like this, um, you'll be seeing more of this soon as well. So I hope it was useful, guys. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys.